In today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick guide to Zolcano. The only requirements for Zolcano is to have completed Song of the Elves, which gives you access to Prif. The equipment that you'll need is a pickaxe, the higher the better. Graceful is recommended. Varrock Armor is recommended if you've done the Varrock Diaries, any of them, Varrock Armor 1, 2, 3, or 4. And Food and Stamina Potions are also recommended. For my setup, I personally do a couple Ceridomen brews, so I have five brews in my inventory. I also have Stam Pots you can use. Normally, you can get away with one. If you don't mess up, you'll never need the Stam Pot, but you'll also never need food. So it's just up to you on how new you are and how often you get unlucky. For my equipment, I have a Crystal Pickaxe, and I also have my Graceful and then my Varrock Armor 4. So that is what I am wearing in the video, the trial kill that I will show you later. So it's all Volcano, like I said, is located in Prif, and if you're for some reason out of Prif, your Prif will look like this. So in order to actually see the map, you need to click on these hyperlinks or also just be in Prif. So Zolcano is located right here, Zolcano's prison. There is a bank right here. Your teleport is right here. You normally get to Prif by a teleport crystal, either an enhanced one or just a regular teleport crystal. There's also a few other ways that you can get here if you want to do some running around. But if you have Song of the Elves completed, you're going to be using a crystal. So don't really need to worry about that too much. All right. The next thing I wanted to go over were some drops. So I have the wiki pulled up here and on the wiki, as you'll see, you'll always get one to three crystal shards, which is pretty cool. And then the MVP is going to get Infernal Ashes. They're the only one that'll get Infernal Ashes and we'll go over how to get MVP a little bit later. But like Zolcano is absolutely fantastic for supply drops, for ores, for bars, for runes, and basically anything you need supply wise. And that also generates a lot of money so you can get blood runes cosmics deaths laws souls and natures all the supplies are just nuts you can also get a bunch of different kinds of bars and different ores some gems onyx bolt tips you can also get pure essence which used to be big back in the day now not so much with guardians of the rift but the cool thing is that for iron man you can get steel bars which is actually one of the only reasons i'm here which is just for steel bars however the drops themselves are great for alex as well and for mains you can just throw the stuff on the GE and make bank. Also, you have your crystal tool seed. This is used to make the pickaxe, the saw, and a couple other items. It's at a one in 200, but it's worth 15.8 mil, by far the best drop to get. I mean, every one in 200 kills, that's that's pretty solid money. There's also the Zolcano Shard, which basically just attaches to your pickaxe and makes it look amazing. Small Kano pet, got it at like 30 to 60 KC, so GG on that one. It is now a 1 and 2,250 chance. It did used to be you had to get like MVP, would lower it a little bit and all this and that, and that's just not how it works anymore. They also changed the Onyx to 1 and 8K. So those are the drops. Again, overall, fantastic for supplies and absolutely amazing for Iron Man to do just in general, but if you're a main account, you can make a lot of bank off of that. For MVP, basically you just need to do the most damage in the the kill in general and that's shield damage and that's also regular damage to Zolcano and when you get MVP you also do get the Infernal Ashes and you get 10% more drops than you normally would not including uniques obviously like it's not going to drop two uniques. I also wanted to call out that there is a thing called Zolcano Host and that is a clan chat that you should always join. This is always available for you and if you join it if you're looking for one as you can see in the chat right now there's 314 plus one that means on world 314 they're looking for one player and world 395 they're looking for two players you can also do just plus one with a question mark and people will just let you know which worlds are open and things like that or zolcano it is the best strategy to have four people in a group sometimes you can do three but with four you're almost always going to three cycle it if you have more than that you're not going to do as much damage and your drops aren't going to be as high so try Try to keep it around four people but if you've got a really good group of people that are higher levels you can do it with three so there are a few zolcano attacks i do want to go over the zolcano fight and actually after this explanation i do actually have a full zolcano kill it takes about four minutes but highly recommend to watch it especially if it's your first time because me just going over the stuff and showing you a little bit I don't know how much you'll catch, but it's always good to see something fully. I'm going to hop over here to a trial kill that I already have. And this is just more for me to go over the attacks and kind of explain to you guys what's up. All right. The first attack is Zolcano is going to stomp the ground and boulders will fall from the sky. There will be shadows on the ground where you're standing. It's always where you're standing, where your other teammates are standing. 
just make sure to move. You only have to be one square, one tile away. So I will show you that right now. And there they are. You can see them start to fall and don't get hit by that because it hurts. The other thing I wanted to call out is that as you can see on the ground right now, there are symbols. So the orange symbols are bad. They do a lot of damage and they also drain your run energy. And by a lot of damage, I mean, that's like 20 to 25 every couple ticks. It's insane. So don't stand on there. And also the blue symbols, they are safe. And that is where you'd be throwing your imbued Tephra. And I will go over a very, very short how to kill Zolcano right after I'm done explaining the attacks. Orange bad, just like wow, fire bad, blue is good and blue also gives your Tephra more damage. Another attack that Zolcano has is whenever you're mining a glowing rock formation, and even when you're not mining, she will randomly throw a orange ball over and destroy the rock formation. That will do a ridiculous amount of damage, so don't get hit by that. Here's what that attack looks like. You'll see there's the orange and bang. So when that explodes, that will do a lot of damage. Don't stand there when you see that. Another attack is that she will spawn a golem and she does that by looking northwest, south, or east. And she will throw out a red ball and summon a golem. This is what this attack looks like. So basically what happens with the golem is the golem itself, when it reaches Zolcano, if she's on the shield phase, which is the orange bar at the top here, this orange bar is her shield. She will not be hurt until that goes away and then she will fall on the ground. You will go mine her and then that's basically, that's one of the phases done. If the golem reaches Zolcano, it will heal her shield up by 50 or 100 points. It will just heal her shield up. The golem only has a 14 health, so super easy to kill. And if you kill it, it'll randomly give one of the players in the game a bunch of Tephra, like 20 or 30, and you can just sit there and smack Zolcano, and it's a really easy way to get MVP. Moral of the story, if the shield is hurt, kill the golem. If the shield's not hurt, don't worry about killing the golem because it doesn't matter if she gets healed anyway. Another attack that she has is when she falls down and you guys are mining her, when she stands up, she will do a lot of damage and kind of bounce you off of her. So don't stand under her while she's standing up. That's bad. So I, nobody gets hit here, but as you can see, she starts to stand up. If you're right there, as soon as the orange goes below her, you will take damage and be bounced out. Another attack that Zolcano has is she will randomly drop pebbles from the ceiling. This is unavoidable damage. It'll just happen. Here's what it looks like. And you'll just see she'll like move her arms, pebbles will fall. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's just something that's unavoidable. So how Zolcano goes is you wanna go from the rock formations on the sides, you want to go to the furnace to refine your tephra. You want to go to the imbue, the blue spot, to imbue your tephra. And then you want to stand on the blue symbols, throw them at Zolcano. When her shield goes down and she falls down, go mine. That's really all there is to it. Well, I'm going to show you guys an example kill, and it'll just give you a nice flow of how things should work. The group I had right here is a group of four. We did about 20 or 30 different Zolcano kills. It was absolutely phenomenal. So if you guys can find your group, it makes everything way easier. So... I'm going to cue that video and I'll see you guys right after. All right. I have a good group going here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. I'm going to take my cam off and everything and show you guys what it looks like to do a Zolcano kill. So to start off, it's going to be random on which side that you're going to have to mine at. Here we go. The one that you're going to be mining at is not going to be broken. If you notice how this one's broken, that one's broken, that one's broken. This one actually glows and is not broken. So that's going to be the one you want to mine at. Again, the most optimal is to have four people. And for four people, all the more Tephra you need is only like six. Sometimes you can get away with five. Sometimes your Varrock armor procs and you get eight or 12 or 11 if you're not paying attention. And then after that, you want to run over to the imbuing altar after you refine your Tephra at the furnace. And then you want to stand on the blue, the orange, the blue swirls and then throw your tephra at Zolcano. so now since Zolcano is down we broke the shield there's this health bar at the top and there are three phases normally once this gets down to 620 you can go ahead and run away to the next glowing rock formation now nine times out of ten or more when Zolcano gets up She's going to spit at the rock formation and it's going to explode. Do not stand there. Standing there is bad. Like I said, you can get six or seven Tephra. 
and then you go ahead and run to refining. And again, anytime you do not want to run over the orange swirls, but if you do, luckily Jagex understands that you can't react in a quarter of a millisecond. So they do go ahead and let you have kind of a little buffer. So you do have like a second of buffer if you accidentally stand on the orange. Then again, go over and imbue, stand on the blue swirls, and throw your Tephra at Zolcano. Now, there will be sometimes Zolcano will spawn a golem, and you'll notice that she will look at any of the regular directions, north, south, west, or east, and she will throw a red. It's not going to be orange like it is for the glowing rock formations. It's going to be red. She will throw a red ball over at any of those directions, and then a mini golem will spawn. You'll need to kill that golem, has 14 HP, before it reaches Zolcano. Otherwise, for example, if it reached Zolcano right now, it would go up 50 HP. Kind of annoying, but that's just kind of what it is. It's super easy to kill, and if you do kill it, you do get bonus Tephra on top of that. That's already imbued. So normally, whoever gets that, it's big, because it's really easy to get MVP on that. And again, once she gets down to 240 on that next phase, you can go ahead and start mining the rock formations. That time she was nice and didn't explode this one, so that's cool. We got six or seven. There is the golem right there. So as you'll see, a golem spawns. Now, because we don't have any, and we haven't done any damage to the shield or anything like that, we can actually go ahead and ignore the golem because she's not gonna get healed any. The other thing I wanna call out, she will randomly have boulders fall from the sky. Those boulders are random, and all you have to do is just move one square. That's it. So right here, it's very important that we kill the golem. So you should see everybody rush over and try to kill the golem. Boom, one banged, easy. And then, boom, there's my Tephra. So again, the boulders, you just move one square away. The only other mechanic is that there's random rocks like that that just fall from the ground. You can't dodge those. It just is what it is. And I will say you don't always three cycle this boss. Sometimes you get unlucky in four cycle, but if you're in a group of four that knows what they're doing, sometimes even a group of three, you are good to go. And that is all there is to it, to Zolcano. Did I get the drop? I did not get the drop. And then people are nice enough to let you know when they're baking. But that is a kill at Soul Kingdom. So we're going to go ahead and turn all this stuff back on and I will see you guys in a bit. And that is all there is to Zolcano. So this is my first kind of boss guide I've done. I know it's a, supposed to be a quick guide, but Zolcano kind of has a lot of things. And personally, I like to see kills happen. I know some quick guides just tell you how to kill the boss and then you're done. I'm a visual learner, so I like to see how the boss is actually killed. So let me know what you guys thought of this video. Give me some feedback, what things I can work on, what things I can do better. I'm trying to improve on these videos. So again, my first boss guide, I've done about 470 kills now of Zolcano. But anyway, it's a great boss for Iron Man. It's a great boss to make money in general for main accounts. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a like for the algorithm. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Turn up the summer vibes. Get off your phone one time, but you'll come outside. Because we all here chilling. Yeah, it's the same, all same, all same. No, we don't play, no play, no games. Oh, they want to talk, 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 talk. Why they got to hate on, hate on me? Damn. But I ain't not tripping. I'm fly as a pigeon. This girl's been nice.